So last night a friend of mine stopped by with a surprise gift for me and it turned out to be this amazing old toolbox full of a lot of really neat items. This toolbox belonged to my friend's grandfather who sadly passed about five years ago and left it to him. It's sat around in his garage since then and being that he's a painter he really hasn't gotten much use out of it so he decided to give it to me. All right, let's see what's inside. So we just took a quick look through the toolbox. Bunch of neat stuff in there. Bunch of real old stuff from the 50s. I think I know what most of it is, but there's a few things I'm not really sure about. So let's get it out, let's get it organized, and let's see if we can learn a little bit about the stuff. I have no clue what it is. emptied out and I got everything laid out on the table roughly organized all right up first we have a federal products corp dial gauge looks like it was last calibrated June 6 1975 still in great shape I'll get some good use out of this these are a pair of star at V blocks with clamps this is a brown and sharp surface gauge last calibrated January 18th 1973 this will come in real handy as well. Next up we have end mills. Lots of end mills. Flat nose, bull nose, ball nose, center finders, chamfers. These are rivet punches, I think. Even more tools for a mill. Next we have carbide bits for a lathe. Lots of lathe bits. This is a tool maker's clamp. Drill bits big and small. There was a drawer with the first aid kit, including Johnson & Johnson floss, sign-off pain meds, a couple of glass syringes, and band-aids. This is something called Bearing Blue by Durkee Atwood, a local company that no longer exists, though their building does and it's now luxury lofts. Next up is WF9 Incorporated Watch Oil, because that used to be a thing. And here's a couple containers of high-pressed diamond compound. Diamonds? Lucky! These razors are proper. Proper razors. Must be made in England, and indeed they are. Some old Rizla tobacco rolling papers. Here we have Kim Safe Incorporated Eye Protectors, still brand new in the box. This stand screw fastener tensile strength chart will come in handy. It's dated 1965. I think pickles are just cucumbers who sold their soul to the devil, and the devil was dill. Dill's pipe cleaners. Here we have a few old conversion charts from Minneapolis-based businesses. One still exists and is actually right down the street from me. The other is not in business any longer, and the building now houses a few hipster bars and eateries. One has a calendar from 1958 on it. This is a Simmons Saw and Steel Company carbide tool chart from 1965. It'll come in handy with all my new lathe bits. Lots of lathe bits. Here we have a star at tap and drill size chart from 1956. Also very useful. Another chart from Falk Gears and Couplings dated 1960. Now this is pretty neat. The triangulator. Made in 1954, it's a sliding chart for trigonometry. It can be used to calculate areas, angles, sides, tangents on a right triangle, etc. The triangulator! This is definitely my favorite item from the toolbox. It's a Starrett Co. number 246 shaper gauge. 
This is a tool used for layout and setup and will come in real useful around the shop. These have been made by Start for close to a century and you can still buy one brand new from them today. They aren't very expensive, but this one is extra cool because of all the decorative machine turning. Alright, let's get this stuff organized and back in the Kennedy 7 drawer toolbox. <laughs> checking out this toolbox with me please hit that like button if you enjoyed what you saw and remember to subscribe to stay up to date on the videos coming out in the next couple of weeks we'll have episode two of my first motorcycle build coming out where i modify the front fender continue with the mock-up and get a start on the rear seat and tail section i'll also have a how-to door panel video coming up Stay tuned for episode 2 of Show & Tell where I'll be giving a shop tour. Bye!